Well, and lucky for Adam, he goes home with absolutely nothing. It can be cool at times. Let's see how many people were knocked out on that last question from the 100. So, there's only four left. Which of those four will be chosen to take on the 100? Let's find out. You are the one. Please enter the arena. The next one to take on the 100 is Linda Young, a secretary and part-time waitress from Cardiff. If she wins tonight, she wants to treat her family as they are the most important thing in her life. Linda says meeting TV style guru Gok Wan was the most exciting thing that's ever happened to her. Beat the 100 tonight, Linda, and Gok will be relegated to a distant second place. Hello. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Oh, I'm you. How are you doing, Linda? Very nervous. Very nervous. Is it very different being down here to sitting up there in the 100? Totally different. You just don't think about it. But now you're going to get to have a go at the money. Oh, yes. How much money would you quite like to win tonight, Linda? Oh, about 45,000. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That would be lovely. Pay off the mortgage, take the family on a holiday, be great. Fingers mm -hmm. crossed. Best of luck. Great, thank you. You are the one. These are your 100 opponents. You've seen how it already works. You ready okay. to play, Linda? Yep. 100, are you ready to play? Yes! Let's play one versus 100. So, as you know, we start with two categories, mm -hmm. which you can choose from. Let's have a look at your first two. Leisure okay. or myths and legends? Oh, gosh. I think I'll probably go for myths and legends. We're going to yes. go for myths and legends? Yes. OK, let's have a look at a myths and legends question, please. According to legend, which hero had to shoot an apple off his son's head? A. I think so, yes. Okay. If you're wrong, you're going home with nothing. But we need to get the answer on. Yeah. Could we have B, please? William Tell. Is the answer William Tell? Yes. <laughs> Great start. You can relax now. <laughs> Good stuff. It's always nice to get one that you know. Yeah. So you knew that one. How many of them got it wrong, though? Let's find out. We need to see as many red lights as possible. Please reveal who from the 100 got that answer wrong. Eight. Eight of them got it wrong. Not That's £8,000. Linda, it's now you versus 92. <laughs> Now you've got that in the bank, the £8,000, you can boost your winnings by using your double, mm -hmm. or you can stay in the game by using your dodge. You've got three dodges, yep. and don't forget that the double's there as well. Okay? Great. Should we have your next two categories? Yes, please. Here they are. Astronomy or theatre? Um, I think I'll go for astronomy, please. OK, we're going to have a crack at the astronomy question, please. In 1971, astronaut Alan Shepard played which sport on the moon? A, basketball, B, football, or C, golf. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. Um, I can't see really it being basketball because, well, the surface of the moon and gravity and all that sort of stuff. Um, football, it could be. Um, golf. If only my father was here, he'd tell me everything about the golf. <laughs> I think I'll actually dodge the question. To be You're going to dodge this one? I think so, yeah. OK, we'd like to employ the first of Linda's three dodges, please. So, we halved your prize fund. That's down to £4,000. Right. Definitely not basketball. You think no. it could be football or golf if you were going to have to choose? I'd go for golf. We'll go for C, golf, please. So far, Linda here has beaten eight of her opponents, and having dodged, she's got £4,000 in the bank. However, if she eliminates the remaining 92 opponents, she could be taking home in excess of £146,000. Can she do it? We're going to find out after we go live to the National Lottery HQ for the first of tonight's lottery draws, which are fundable and dream number.
I'm going to leave you in the wonderful hands of Jenny Faulkner. Thank you. Now then, before the lottery, we saw Linda here make a decent start, knocking out the 100. So far, she has £4,000 in the bank and she's still got 92 opponents to beat. She has dodged this question. She's on course to win over £146,000. It's early days, though. Digital viewers, how are you getting on? I hope you're doing well at home. Now then, let's have a recap. In 1971, astronaut Alan Shepard played which sport on the moon? You think it might be golf? I think it might be golf. Okay, it let's seems find the likely sport. Is the answer C? It was golf. Oh. You knew. Oh. It was in there somewhere, wasn't it? It was feeling. I had the feeling it was golf. You're definitely in. Right. How many of them got it wrong? Please reveal from the remaining members of the 100 who got that answer wrong. Mm, Ten. Ten got it wrong. Your total after the dodge is £4,000. Okay. It's now you versus 82. <laughs> Let's have a look at your next two categories. Okay, thank you. Hollywood greats or transport? I do think I'd probably go for the Hollywood greats. OK, we'll have the Hollywood greats question, please. The Oscar-winning song Moon River came from which Hollywood film? A, Breakfast at Tiffany's, B, Tea for Two, or C, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. <laughs> You know the answer? I do believe I know the answer. Which to this one is one. it? I think it's uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. And what makes you say that? Um, to be honest, the TV show um, Sex and the City, um, there was a scene in that um, involving two of the main characters, and uh, Moon River was played in that. And they mentioned within the script about Breakfast at Tiffany's. We're going to go for A, Breakfast at Tiffany's? Yes. OK, we'd like A, please, Breakfast at Tiffany's. If this is wrong, you're going to go home with nothing. Yes. Fingers crossed. Is the answer A? Yes, it is. Well done. Well worked out. Great. OK, so you got it right, which is fantastic news. The question is, how many of the 100 got it wrong? Will you please reveal the reds? Better. 18 got it wrong, that's £18,000. Your new total, Linda, stands at £22,000. It's now you versus 64. <laughs> you played a great game so far. You're still on course to win £136,000. You've got your two dodges and that double, remember? Right. OK, let's have a look at your next two categories. Food and drink or the human body? I think more than likely I'd probably go for... Yes, I'll go for food and drink. Food and drink? Yes, please. OK, we'll have a food and drink question, please. Eggs Benedict is a dish of a muffin topped with eggs and bacon covered in which sauce? A. Bernays. B. Dijonese. Or C. Hollandaise. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. I do believe I know the answer. Right, OK. Yeah. Which I, answer do you think it is? It's not Bernays sauce, because that's very good with salmon. We serve it in the restaurant that I work in as well. OK. Uh, Dijonese, French, Dijon mustard. Um, but I think that it's Hollandaise sauce. You've still got your dodges and your double? No. Um, you want to keep hold of those? Actually, I might play the double on this, please. We'd like to employ the double, please. We have C, please, Hollandaise. If it's not Hollandaise, I'm going home with nothing. Let's find out. Is the answer C? Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. So you managed to hold on to your dodges. You've got another question right, and you played your double, so this is going to be important. You can really increase your money. Every one of them that goes out now is worth £2,000 to you. 
Let's find out. Please reveal from the remaining members of the 100 who got that answer wrong. 15 got it wrong. Let's double that. That will make £30,000. Your new total is £52,000, Linda. It's now you versus 49. Many, but it up. Yeah. Very well. Let's have a look at your next two categories. Thank you. Cinema or travel? Right, travel. I haven't done a lot of that in the last couple of years. Okay. So I think I'll probably go for the cinema. Okay, we'll have a cinema question, please. Thank you. Here we go. You had me at hello is a famous line from which hit 1996 film? A, Four Weddings and a Funeral, B, Jerry Maguire, or C, Pretty Woman. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. You had me at hello. Do you know the film? Yes. Do you know the line? I know the line, yes. I you know, know the, the film. film, you know the line, you're yeah. very confident. Yes. Which one is it? Uh, Jerry Maguire it is. It was uh, Renny Zellweger saying it to Tom Cruise. So we're going to go for B, please, Jerry Maguire? Yes. Very confident on this one? Yes. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer B, Jerry Maguire? Yes, well done, well done. <laughs> we need to see those red lights, don't we? Yes. Please reveal the reds. Twenty. 20 of the remaining members got it wrong. That's £20,000. Your new total, Linda, is £72,000. It's now you versus 29. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're very well. Let's have a look at your next two categories. Thank you. Literature or television? I'd say I'm pretty gender from television, so I'll go for television, please. OK, we'll have a TV question, please. Yes, please. Which TV comedy series featured the Gingers for Justice protest group? A, The Catherine Tate Show. B, Little Britain. Or C, The Far Show. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. <laughs> Catherine Tate Show, Little Britain, The Far Show, are you fans of them? Catherine Tate, definitely. Um, Little Britain, I've never watched one single episode of it. The Fast Show, that's more towards the 80s, 90s sort of time of watching. But you know the Catherine but, Tate Show? Uh, Catherine Tate Show, yes. OK, I, so what I about believe... Gingers for Justice, the protest group? Yes, Gingers for Justice is definitely featured on Catherine Tate. So you want to go with A? Definitely, yes. You're very, very confident we can go for A, the Catherine Tate Show, please? Yes. Got £72,000. If you're a little too confident mm -hmm. and this isn't right, you're taking a gamble, you're going home with nothing. No, I think it's right. OK, let's find out. Are the Gingers for Justice protest group featured on the Catherine Tate Show? Yes, they are. <laughs> They're all calling me for play sounds during the last week. Great. Yeah. Please reveal of the remaining members who got it wrong. Only five. Five. Five got it wrong. That's another £5,000. Your new total is up to £77,000. Yeah. It's now you versus 24. <laughs> Let's have a look at your next two categories. Cities or bonus dodge? OK, so you've knocked out over 75 of your opponents, which means you get a chance to earn an extra dodge. Right. But if you choose it and you get the question wrong, you'll be out, you'll go home with nothing, and one of those remaining members of the 100 will take your place. Right, I think I might go for the cities. If I don't know it, I can dodge it. Yeah. I'll go for cities, then. You'd like cities? Yes, please. OK, we'd like a cities question, please. <laughs> Which of these cities does not share its name with the river on which it stands? A, Chicago, B, Moscow, or C, Shanghai? Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. She 
just whispered, I think I know this one. I think I do. That's a very satisfying feeling. Yes. Why do you think you know it? Shanghai River. I think I remember something from a, a film or documentary, that sort of thing. The Chicago River. I'm sure I've heard of that as well. It's the Moscow one that I don't believe I've heard of. Shanghai as it stands, River. you've got 77,000 pounds. You've got two dodges. Yes. Are you going to take the gamble or play it safe and stay playing? I think I'm actually going to play Moscow. You're going to go for it? Yeah. OK. Would like B, please, Moscow. So far, Linda has beaten 76 of her opponents and has £77,000 in the bank. She keeps getting them right. She could be taking home in excess of £150,000. We're going to find out if she can do just that after we get live to the National Lottery HQ for tonight's big lotto draw. All yours, Jenny. Before the lottery, we saw Linda here knock out 76 of her opponents. So far, she has £77,000 in the bank. She has the right answer to this question. She could be on course to win over £150,000. If she's wrong, after all this time, she's going to be leaving with absolutely nothing. OK, the question. Which of these cities does not share its name with the river on which it stands? A, Chicago. B, Moscow. C, Shanghai. You've got two dodges, but you chose to ignore them. Yes. You're feeling confident about this one, and you've gone with B, Moscow. Moscow. If you're wrong, you've lost £77,000. OK? Is the answer B, Moscow? Shanghai. <laughs> the river in Shanghai is called the Wangpu. You have on course to take home £151,000. Oh, no. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be your night. You've been a great contestant, though. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yes, yeah. It's been a pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry you're going home with nothing, but thank you for playing. Linda, everybody. <laughs> Sadly for Linda, she's going home with absolutely nothing. She took a huge gamble and it just didn't pay off. But what we need to find out is how many people were knocked out from that last question who were remaining in...